on Monday overview of tomorrow's workout. So, your equipment that you're going to need is one set of medium to light dumbbells and then one chair or bench or couch or whatever you've got on hand. All right, so we're gonna start you out right away with your ring of fire. We're gonna be starting with our swimmers. So we're gonna be laying stomach down, prone to the floor, and we're gonna reach our ankles up and our hands up. Then opposite hand is leg is gonna tap down and tap down. So we always have one up in the air and we wanna meet it at the top. So we always have that contraction with our muscles. Moving into exercise two, we are gonna do a hollow hold drop. So there's lots of variations for this one so you can really challenge your core to the best of your abilities. Ideally, that low back is coming down, we're shooting our hands up, we're shooting our legs out, and we're gonna rock. So you're gonna squeeze through your abs, then you're gonna come up to your hips, and then reach your hips off the ground. Shoulder blades up, hips up. Shoulder blades up, hips up. We're keeping that super, super solid core the entire time. If that's not working for you, which is totally okay, we're gonna build up that strength. You can go for just our hollow hold here, challenging the ankles to come down more while pressing that low back down and reaching the hands up towards the ears. Again, if that's a little bit too tough for that core, we've got our third option, which is just going to be head, neck, and shoulders down, hands up above the head. So we practice this mobility and lower your feet down as low as you can while still maintaining that tight core and bracing your low back against the ground. All right, do what's best for your body. Exercise three is going to be our chair leg extension. So have a seat, pinch that medium to light dumbbell between our feet. We're gonna go for a little lean back. We're gonna curl in and extend out. Try to keep that core nice and tight and keeping those legs strong. Once we get through the ring of fire, we have our last week with our 30 second holds or isometrics before we move into something new for next week. So, we're going to be starting out with our wall sit once again. So, find a wall, slide those shoulder blades down, 90 degrees at the ankles, the knees, and the hips. We're holding it for 30 seconds. Once we get through those 30 seconds, we are standing up right away and moving over to our chair this time. No weights. We're going to do our single leg squat. So, we're going to squat down, stand up, switch legs. Balance, sit down, stand up, switch legs. We're gonna to get to 12 on each leg here, so 24 total, but we wanna make sure that we stay nice and even. If the balance is tough for you, you can always place your heel on the ground for that sit and stand, just so that you don't have to worry about the balance and you can really focus on the strength. Moving up next, we've got our lateral raise. So, this is our one and only move that we won't be doing 30 second hold for. What we're gonna do instead is reach out to the side and pause. We're going to alternate lowering and lifting with the shoulders so we still get an isometric, just not for that 30 seconds, right? So we're going to move through that 12 on each side. Next up, we're going to be moving back into our push-up. Right? We've been working on this one with our plank. So hands are going to go down, feet are going to shoot up, and we're in a nice tall plank position. Tricep push-up position here, elbows are going to come into the sides. 30 seconds on this plank hold. Once we get those 30 seconds in, push-ups. Now keeping those elbows squeezed in tight. If 12 is not in our repertoire, that's totally okay. Do as many as you can on your toes and then drop your knees down and go into that press. All right, so you always have that option, but our goal is to get to 12. And we've been working on this for two weeks now. So if you want to add in one more rep on the toes and then drop to the knees, that option's always there for you to get a little bit stronger in tomorrow's workout. All right, next up, we've got our lateral lunge. So our last leg exercise is going to be back on that 30 second hold. If you want to pick up both of your light dumbbells, you can carry them along with you by your chest or on your shoulders, whichever one feels most comfortable. We're going to do a wide stance here, and we're going to lunge down to one side. We get to hold this here for our 30 seconds, and then we're going to crank up those reps, lunging down and pressing up. Once you get the one side done, we're lunging down to the other side and holding, and then cranking out those reps. So 30 second hold, and then reps, rest. 30 second hold, and then reps, and then rest. Last 
lastly, we're going to be doing a rear delt fly hold. This hold can be done without any weight or with your lighter dumbbells. So we're going to hinge at the hips. We're going to reach out to the side and hold it. 30 seconds, and then we're going to move into reps, reaching and lowering. If that hold gets too intense, use your hands, the weight of your arms, and gravity to squeeze those shoulder blades as hard as you can for those 30 seconds, and then we'll move into our reps, coming down and back up. You can even pick up your dumbbells or your reps. So that's going to be the workout for tomorrow. It's going to be a super fun workout, a great way to start your Monday. We have a 7 a.m. class and an 8 a.m. class. I hope to see you guys in one of those classes. And if not, I hope you get a chance to do the recorded workout because these isometrics are fun. I have a really good time doing them, and I have a really good time when you guys are there too. So, hope to see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic night, and um, let's get strong.